Hello everyone. How is everybody doing? Feeling the powerful energy of the Cyrus portal today, 7-7. Seven, seven. Powerful number 7. You know, 7 chakras, number 7, there is lots of meanings. And one of the powerful meanings of number 7, it is the bridge between the spiritual realms and the physical realms. Very much means um, faith, spiritual awareness, awakening, acceptance, and enlightenment. So beautiful. I have been feeling this powerful energy, you know, since the beginning of this uh, week. Very much to, to releasing and letting go um, experience and feelings connected with past fears, you know, uh, very much fear of rejection, abandonment, or if you will feel that we are not, not good enough. So it is very much an uh, energy that uh, it helping us to look at uh, ourselves as a sacred beings, you know, very much looking to ourselves with more acceptance, with love, with compassion. Uh, healing, you know, bringing more understanding and clarity to our uh, journey, uh, especially of our past experience. So very much we are able to release that, bring more clarity, having realizations, you know, understanding about the journey, very much helping us to be in our inner power, in our authenticity, uh, keeping, you know, very much our integrity and um, allowing very much everything that it is in alignment with our heart, with our center, with our energy, you know, so feeling more in balance, having more clarity and understanding about what we really want to attract in our journey. Uh, am I able to letting go, move on, and very much grow, you know, that's very much what I'm feeling, you know, a special push of growing and uh, choosing, you know, myself, choosing my energy, choosing things and choosing people, choosing experience that very much it is in alignment with my uh, higher self, with my heart, with things that very much brings me joy and happiness in my life. So it is very much what I have been feeling this week, especially a week before of the Grandmother Aya ceremony, you know, that uh, I'm going to have this Saturday. And actually right now, you know, today I have been preparing the medicine beautiful connection and beautiful healing very much setting the intentions very much being connected with uh, ancestors putting each one that will participate in the ceremony you know putting their intentions into the medicine you know because that's the magic it is very much our intentions you know our heart when we put our heart in everything that we do that very much it is the magic, you know, when very much things uh, are able to transform with the power of love, with the power of pure heart, with the power of pure intentions, you know, so it's beautiful. It's been a very blessed day, a day very much that since uh, I wake up today, I woke up feeling uh, that connection to bring that connection with myself and actually the universe and synchronicity is very much was telling me all day find a space for yourself find a space for you to be connected with your heart find a space very much for us to be able to set our intentions to the universe to this beautiful portal you know this beautiful chance that we are having you know this 
powerful month of lots of DNA activations, you know, very much uh, releasing uh, all the cycles, uh, removing ego, you know, or, or uh, we can say removing everything that is not in alignment with our true essence, removing things that uh, is not part of our truth, so we are able to see the reflection through uh, the ego and then very much remove, you know, um, who the masks actually, you know, removing the masks, the masks that uh, doesn't belong to us. Beautiful. For those that doesn't know me, my name is Carolina. I am a Brazilian and I live in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I like very much to share my awakening journey, my service, uh, everything that I do connected with my um, spirituality, my growth, and uh, very much everything that I do connected with Mother Nature, my uh, healing natural products, very much the medicine uh, with uh, Grandmother Aya, you know, so um, I mean, having a little bit of uh, resistance through the uh, Facebook about my uh, my posts. So I very much needed to be aware about the words that I'm using, you know, so this way I don't have a problem with my page, you know, and the posts, they don't stop, you know, running my my posts because my intention very much it is letting people know the truth letting people know the blessings letting people know how much powerful and transformative it is when we uh, very much see the sacred medicine you know everything that comes from the earth you know as um, powerful uh, remedy you know that has the power to help our body, awake our spirit, you know, very much um, heal our mind, bring more balance, understanding to our uh, past experience. So it is very, very sacred. And today it's been an awesome day with lots of healing, you know, beautiful. And I would like to share with you something that I did today, you know, and very much brought me lots of release, uh, self-acceptance, very much looking myself within and very much blessing my body, blessing my life experience, blessing, you know, uh, my gift is blessing my service very much blessing my journey and uh, was very powerful for me very transformative and emotional as well i felt a huge emotion and i do like to share with you and especially those that will be you know participating in the sacred ceremony this saturday you know um july 9 so very much uh, number nine, it is a beautiful number of endings and beginnings, you know, and uh, having the portal today, you know, I believe that it is a beautiful opportunity for us to continue to be connected with our heart, uh, with our feelings, with our emotions, bringing more clarity, releasing, you know, uh, everything that very much causes us pain and suffering, you know, very much uh, releasing the attachments, you know, uh, through people or experience. So this way we are able very much to um, release the suffering part, not that we are not able to feel, no, it's totally opposite. Uh, when we say um, non-attachments and release the attachments, you know, it's not that we don't love. It is totally opposite. We love so much that we are able to let it go and allow the other or very much anything that happens, you know, in our life, any type of experience, very much to uh, having the choice to follow their own journey, you know, with love, with happiness, you know, with acceptance. 
and um, very much if it's meant to be, you know, very much if it is connected with our heart, you know, having an open mind and being open to receive everything, seeing our experience, not bringing the fear from the past, you know, that we repeat but very much, you know, be able to take risks, you know, and uh, if he thinks it is in alignment, you know, beautiful, if it is helping us very much to grow, very much to uh, our spiritual evolution, you know, beautiful, uh, let's, you know, be part of that. Uh, it can be partnerships, it, it can be um, close uh, friends or very much circles, you know, of people that we are part of um, past experience, you know, so everything very much it is connected with uh, listening our energy, allowing our energy to guide us, feeling our feelings, feeling our body, because it is through the feelings that we are able to understand what very much it is in balance with ourselves, what comes from the mind or what comes from the heart, you know? So, uh, and this is very much it is connected with what I did today. I have lots of uh, strong connection with uh, goddess Isis, you know, the beautiful queen of Egypt. And um, to me, she was, and I feel very much her energy, you know, to me, she always will be, you know, a powerful woman very much. Uh, she went through lots of pain, lots of betray. Uh, she very much felt uh, lots of um, pain and suffering through her journey, with, especially with her beloved Osiris and um, her son, you know. So um, very much it is uh, a beautiful queen. And uh, very much what I did today was a connection. I took one uh, Orak card, you know, connected with her. And very much uh, this card was telling me about um, be open to navigate through our uh, fears and the shadows aspect with us, you know, with the darkness, you know, without having the fear, but very much being the space of allowing, you know, and seeing through that experience, not attach it to the fear, you know. It is interesting when we say the word dark, you know, how our body feels just with the vibrations of the word dark, darkness, you know, very much it can give us uh, feelings of anxiety, you know, fear. But very much it is a space, you know, that uh, if we just sit without reactions, we are able to see that there is nothing to fear, you know. There is just an opportunity for us very much to see our light and understand that we have the power, you know, that it is just a life experience and um, there is nothing to condemn, you know, fear very much, it is fear to condemn, to condemn ourselves for something that we did in the past, you know, and we feel guilty and we feel uh, lots of heaviness, you know, with ourselves and we are not able to move on. But when we understand that everything that happens in our life, you know, was just meant to be, there is no need for self-judgments or condemnation. Because in that time, we didn't know what we know today. And for us to be able to have the clarity that we have today, we had to pass through those experiences. If it is an experience of forgiveness, you know, forgiving ourselves, forgiving someone, releasing attachments with rejections, abandonment, um, sexual abuse, 
so very much uh, there is reasons for those experiences to happen in our life. But when we sit with those experiences and we just look at without self-judgment, without self-condemnation, we are able to understand that we are not perfect and we came here to learn. That's the meaning of life experience, to learn, to grow, very much uh, to release you know everything that um, we pass through and uh, forgive you know forgive ourselves especially having compassion for ourselves you know it is important to love ourselves having compassion not reject ourselves not reject reject and punish ourselves but very much forgive, love, having patience with ourselves, you know, looking of taking responsibility, yes, and choosing change, you know, if very much you want to attract beautiful things in our life, it is time for us to grow, it is time for us to be more mature, it is time for us very much to choose what help us and what brings us joy and happiness in our life it doesn't matter how others will judge us or what they will think about us one thing that i was very interested you know in my journey i had to change my diet you know i very much chose not drink alcohol very much i chose not eat animals and um, I received lots of judgments, you know, for that. Because before I used to drink beer a lot, eat every day, you know, an animal. Um, very much my uh, life was totally different than before. I was very much in a stage of be in groups of people you know be accepted in my with my family religions you know a uh, system but for me to start to choose myself and be more connected with myself i had to say no to so many things and choose what i was feeling that was in balance with my heart you know and we receive judgments for those things, you know, when we change, when we are like outside of box, you know, of the society. And uh, very much that it is about self-empowerment, you know, more I say yes to myself, more I say yes to what it is in alignment with myself not worrying about what others gonna think or what others gonna um, judge you know this is freedom this is very much standing up to um, what we believe you know what it is very much our truth our new truth this is evolution spiritual evolution this is true spirituality this is a tantric you know we are tantric priests and priests, you know, very much it is the journey of self-love, self-acceptance, journey of self-discovering. Everything it is connected. More we feel ourselves, more we are able to activate our sexual energy, you know, and the open portals, you know, for beautiful manifestations in our life. So uh, that's very much, you know, our journey. And we are here, you know, to experience our life knowing that each one, they have their own individual journey. Each one, they have their own spiritual evolution. It doesn't matter if it's mother, father, brother, sister, daughter, son. Each one, they have their own uh, rhythm, you know, 
in the journey. Each one they have their own free will if they want to choose to awake or not. Each one very much they have their own free will if they are looking for help, if they want to be helped or not. And very much choose that, not just want, but very much choose to help, you know, ourselves because it depends of us how much we want to help ourselves. We cannot do for others and we cannot force others as well. But we came here to respect each one individual journey. With love, with compassion and uh, very much allowing, you know, everything to happen naturally. What is meant to be will be. What is happening? What am I reflecting in my reality? There is growth through every experience of pain and suffering. So, something that I want to share with each one that very much it help us to look at within and very much release those feelings, you know, it is a beautiful uh, moment that we can give to ourselves, um, choosing, you know, a quiet space and moment. If you have a mirror, you know, you can hold a mirror or if you have a closet with door, you know, mirror, it works as well. And um, if you are, you are able to be naked, you know, that's most perfect in a way, you know, very much look at into the mirror, you know, seeing our reflections naked. You know, very much observing our body, looking in our eyes, feeling our feelings, and very much bring that sacred space within, releasing the mind, release your work, release people, release family, release everything that uh, creates distractions in the mind, at least for this moment. And sit. Breathing. Allowing the oxygen very much to activate our cells, cleansing our cells, our lungs, bringing that oxygen to our mind. Be in a sacred space that we create with ourselves. Putting a nice music, you know, a relaxing music that connects you, helps you to connect it with yourself feeling the music, allowing and take your awareness into your heart and feel the warmth and love there. And if, when you feel comfortable, very much say loud to yourself, I open in unconditional love to my whole self and ask for healing, grace and protection from those divine energies that love me unconditionally. And then allow. Hold the mirror, you know, or look at yourself naked, you know, into the mirror, your reflection. Be comfortable. Be softened. And look at yourself from a place of love. Continue to look at yourself. To, look, to Continue to look at your body. All the parts that we reject from ourselves. 
it can be internally externally and then say again to yourself I love you enough to meet the parts of you that have been hiding away in fear, shame, guilt, or anger. I am not afraid of you. I'm sorry for any time I have pulled back from you in fear. I am here with you now and I love you completely. I want you, let me love you in this way with the help of the goddess you deserve to feel whole and love it will you let me love you in this way and allow goddess Isis asking her very much to help you to navigate through this moment of self-love and self-observation, self-acceptance, self-compassion, feeling your emotions, closing your eyes after, and just allowing everything, you know, whatever comes to your mind, feeling, allowing, breathing, Then look it again through the mirror. Look it into your eyes deep inside. And say to yourself three times. I call forth the goddess in her form of unconditional love, compassion, healing and support for my own spiritual growth now. I choose to enter your inner chamber for healing now. Again, I call forth the goddess in her form of unconditional love, compassion, healing and support for my own spiritual growth now. I choose to enter your inner chamber for healing now. Again. I call forth the goddess in her form of unconditional love, compassion, healing, and support for my own spiritual growth now. I choose to enter your inner chamber for healing now. And close your eyes. Be aware of her presence. In whatever way, you know, we feel. Sometimes, you know, uh, makes sense, sometimes not. But just allow. Just feel. Be with an open mind. No matter how strongly you can recognize her presence, she will be with you in the most suitable way for you at that moment beautiful perceive that you are going within your heart into a dark and open space within that space there is a doorway that leads into the inner chamber of the goddess image sense or feel yourself stepping through the doorway and into the inner chamber. It is barely visible, but you can feel your way inside. Rest one hand on your heart, and with the other, with the other hand, pick it up the mirror again, or just look it in the mirror. You know, if you have a large mirror, with both hands in your in your heart. Holding up to gaze softly at yourself, deep into your eyes again and say, I love you. Please show me the parts 
of me that needs to be brought to light. And then give that moment to yourself again to feel. Let your free hands rest on your heart as you look at deep into your eyes. Just notice without fear or judgment, whatever you may feel, think, or however you may respond to this loving attention. You may feel anger, shame, sadness, doubt, or deep grief. You may feel a flash of hatred or deep fear or anxiety. You may have many thoughts trying to distract you from really seeing yourself. All this response, any response, is fine. Keep your hands on your heart. Stay calm and breathe. Feeling, allowing without attach, you know, in any types of thoughts that creates distraction, but very much be in the present, just feeling and allowing, bringing understanding to those feelings. Just stay with your heart and be loving enough of yourself that you allow whatever surface to surface without believing it disbelieving it, analyzing it, or resisting it. Just experience and then be in your heart again. When you are ready, gaze deep into your own eyes again in the mirror and say, I love all parts of me. I let go of shame, guilt, rage, fear, or anger that would hold me back now. I release trapped energy now that will help me move forward into holiness through the unconditional love of the goddess. When you are ready, put the mirror down or close your eyes. Perceive, sense, or intent that you are moving farther into the inner chamber of the goddess now again, descending deeper than you ever thought you could go. It becomes so dark, you have no sense if there is endless space or not much space at all. It's just in pure darkness, but it feels neutral and peaceful. Releasing that fear, fear of the mind, but just seeing through that, that everything is fine. It is us. Then you see a light. This light is beautiful and fill it with love. Capture it, capture it into your hands and place it in your heart. Feel the warmth feeling your heart as your awareness now return completely to your physical body. And allow, allow that light very much to be spread into your whole body, into your all cells of your body, activating your body. Just have that vision of that light spreading in your whole being, the light of your soul, awakening your body, your DNA, every cell of your body, every atom, and feel, just allow. in that silence, stay there beautifully, not reacting, 
which very much just allowing. And if you feel like cry, cry. If emotions come out, you know, during the process, the ritual, allow your emotions to come out. But not with reactions, but just as a release. Allowing your body, you know, to speak and release all the tensions, you know, everything that is holding. Release to the universe. And just allowing. And then say to yourself, Sublime Isis, dark and sweet, through you my hidden self I meet. I honor this self and accept. No longer do I fear, shame, or reject. You gift me with you myself complete. Sublime Isis, Isis, dark and sweet. Beautiful. And just a few. Allowing. Look at to yourself again in the mirror and say thank you. Thank you. I love you. I accept you. You are beautiful. You are lovable. You are light. And you are the dark as well. There is no need for fear. There is no need for self-judgment, self-condemnation. Everything is fine. All the spiritual realms, our ancestors, angels, the universe are here to support me, to navigate through my journey. I am choosing now to honor my body. I am choosing now to honor my life experience that will be in alignment with my heart. I am strong, I am powerful, and with my experience, through my pain and suffering, I will help others, I will serve others, helping them in their own journey, sharing my life, sharing my experience with my heart. Thank you. Thank you to this beautiful body that it is within me in this lifetime. Thank you to my heart, my hands, feet, legs, my hair, my eye, everything. My beautiful uh, sexuality. I honor my sexuality. I see myself as a sacred being with devotion and respect. Thank you. Thank you, universe, for your love and support. Thank you, God, Isis, to help me and be with me in this moment of sacred healing. And just to be allowing whatever comes to your mind, if you wanna write down, but very much let the answers from within, the clarity, the realizations, you know, very much be activated, feeling more in balance, 
in that calm space in the heart. Knowing that everything is fine. Everything is perfect the way it is. We are exactly in the right moment that we're supposed to be in our journey. And everything that is happening right now, it is for help us, you know, um, in these beautiful transformations and activations that we are choosing to ourselves. Beautiful. From my heart to yours, set your intentions in this beautiful portal today. Choose yourself. Choose your heart. Choose the love. Choose kindness, compassion, healing, transformations, and change. And let the universe do the rest. Know that we are safe, we are protected, and we are loved beyond imagination. Much love and blessings to everyone. Hope you enjoy it. See you soon. Namaste. Bye-bye. Blessings be.